hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we'll see that what is builder design patterns in java so today we'll see all about the builder pattern that what are the properties of builder pattern how we implement builder pattern and at the last we'll see through example that how they are actually implemented in code base so now let's see about the properties of builder design pattern now first of all it is creational design pattern why we call it creational design pattern because it is related to the object creation so in object creation we use it so that is why it is a creational design pattern now when we use the builder design pattern so builder design pattern in mainly use when we have too many argument so let's let's take a situation let's say we have a class and we have a constructor and in that constructor we have so many arguments let's say if there are 10 arguments now obviously if there are 10 arguments so there would be some order of this uh, of these parameters and you know that uh, it is it, it is very difficult to maintain the order when there are so many arguments every time we need to take care okay like for, uh, first is the engine then is the hs number then it is the uh, then it is a wheel number if we are talking about the vehicle constructor right so in that case the maintaining the order is very typical so this builder design pattern address this first problem that whenever there are the multiple many parameters so there is no need to maintain the order it would automatically handle the order right so this is the one thing that it address second thing it happens like you you might have observed that sometime it's not necessary to put all the parameters in the constructor right sometime uh, we know that if let's say there are 10 parameters only two parameters are required and for rest parameter we always input the null right because we know that it's it's hard bounded that if there are 10 parameters we have to have give the these values so we just put the null values or the false values so that just to address it right so builder design pattern address this problem also that you need not to give all the optional parameters you need to give only the required parameter and it will take care of the optional parameter right so this is the these are the two problems and i think these are the major problem that we use in daily to daily work in our java right so builder design pattern handle the both two things now we'll see that how it is basically implemented and how we can implement this builder design pattern so generally what we do that we create the we create that we have the uh, we have the main class so let's say we, we can take example of the vehicle class so vehicle class is our main class now i can create a builder class of that vehicle class and which which can be the static nested class right so we create the static nested class and the name the by the naming convention if let's say if you are talking about the vehicle class so we put as vehicle builder class right so we so we would give name as vehicle builder now let's say if the vehicle class has a two or three uh, two or three argument right so the same argument uh, the vehicle builder class will also have the same argument right and what we do the builder class will have the public constructor because from the from the client class which is the which is the main class you can say uh, the uh, public stating main class so basically from the main class we would directly call the vehicle dot vehicle builder so that is why it is important that vehicle builder which is a static nested class should have the should have the public constructor so that we can call from the outside right that is the reason that is the reason that public that builder class have the public constructor with all the required parameters now now we know that the, let's say if there are 10 parameters and out of 10 parameters there are two which are the required parameter means which is mandatory so this public constructor should have only the required parameters there are there is no necessity to put other parameter only put the required parameter and for the optional parameter we will have the setter method for the optional parameter we would have the setter method so that we can set the parameter through that setter method if there is a requirement right and at the last what would happen and these these method would return the builder object itself so what would happen so i i will i will explain you through code how would it happen that once you will have the uh, required method in the constructor 
then after that you will call the setter method and then each setter method would return the builder object and at the last we'll call a build method so this build method is very important because at the last when we'll call this build method it will return the final object right it will return the final object to the vehicle class and that would return as the actual actual vehicle instance right so this is the one thing and now uh, the main class which is a vehicle class uh, which is inheriting the vehicle builder it should have the private constructor so that so that we can create the instance only through the builder class right so this is a reason that vehicle class should have the private constructor and this main class vehicle should have the getters because if it would have the setters then one can change the values from the outside so this vehicle class should have only the getters right now uh, let me show you through the code so that you uh, don't get confused that how it is happening so uh, this is my vehicle class and in the vehicle class these are the two required parameters one is engine and one is wheel right so basically uh, we are talking about here a vehicle and in the vehicle we will talk about the one engine and one wheel so we know that engine and wheel both are the required parameter now as per the your vehicle type wheel can be different for bike wheel can be two for car wheel can be four right so for the required these are the required parameter and this is the optional parameter because like car can have have the airbags so it can have the two airbags four airbags but bike does not have airbags so that is why this is optional parameter now uh, like i said that uh, this uh, this it has only the it has only the getters not setters right and this and this has this vehicle constructor has the private right so that we cannot call from outside it has only the private and here it is getting the instance of the builder so now i will i will tell you why it is uh, why we are passing a builder and uh, what it will do it will basically initialize this uh, it, it will basically uh, set the values this dot engine equal to builder dot engine or wheel this and airbags equal to this one right now here i have the static class vehicle builder which we are talking about so vehicle builder will have the uh, this required parameter and the optional parameter so these are the required parameter engine and wheel and this is optional parameter now from the outside from the client class i will all i will all only put the required parameter in the in the constructor of the vehicle builder so that is the main purpose right we were talking about that if there is an order so uh, we should can we should maintain the order only of the required parameter now we are giving only the values of engine and wheel right and we are not uh, taking care about the uh, optional now what we will do here so we would set only the required parameter and through through a setter method we we'll set the airbags whenever there is a need so here i have the uh, setting airbags method which would get the airbags integer so this would set the value of airbags and it would return this so basically it would return the vehicle builder right and this this is a build method so build method will simply return the vehicle so now you can see why what it is doing it is basically returning the vehicle vehicle class instance right which is this main class so basically it will call this vehicle it will put whatever the value builder has and it will set the values right so this is how this is how we create the instance of the vehicle so now let me show you directly through code so here you can see for example what i am doing first of all i am creating the instance of the car class now these are the these are the required parameter engine and the air and the wheel so the, i am passing the required parameter now i know that for car i need to put the airbags also so first so when it will call this one it would return me the it it would return me the vehicle builder method vehicle builder instance so now after getting the vehicle builder instance i am calling the set airbags which is again the method of the vehicle builder now this would return me this would again uh, return me the vehicle builder and then it will call the build so once it will call the build this it would return me the new vehicle instance right so here that is why i would get the vehicle instance right now in the case of bike i am in the case of bike i am passing the required parameter which is 
of this engine and the wheel and here i am passing the uh, just build so i am not setting the airbag so what it will do after setting the constructor of the vehicle builder it will just call the build and it would return me the vehicle so now let me show you through the uh, debug that how it would do so basically it will call the vehicle builder it will set the values of engine and wheel and it would return me and it would give the vehicle builder now again it will call the set airbags so it will go here and it will set the airbags or it will return me the vehicle builder now it will call in the build method and here it would go in the vehicle vehicle constructor it would set the value of the engine wheel and airbag and it would uh, it would give me the vehicle so here i have the car car instance variable which have the values as airbags for engine engine 1500 cc and wheel equal to 4 now it would go for the bike for bike it would set two values and it would call the build engine wheel and airbags which is default which is zero now it would determine the bike so if you see here that i have this get engine get wheel and get airbags of the vehicle so if you see here that for the engine it would give me 1500 cc then 4 then get airbags 4 now for the bike get engine is 250 cc get wheel is 2 and get airbags is 0 because get air because airbags was the option for the bike so it got the default values which is 0 right so uh, that is how we are implementing the builder class we only give the required parameter in the constructor and for the optional parameter we have the uh, we have the setter method so generally guys i can tell you that in actual code base which is very big we generally have only the few required parameter and we have around 10 to 15 at least set, setter methods and then as per our requirement we call the setter method and then we return the instance right so builder method is very very important uh, when you're using the actual java code in your in your big uh, code base so that's it guys for this design pattern if you have any doubts please write in the comment section and i will try to address it and please subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you